Hello, Mario. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm doing great. You ready for the last week of class? Sorry, I can't hear you. Can you repeat, teacher? Yes, I say, are you ready for the last week? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Great. I am so excited to learn new things in this week, the last week, right? Yeah, the last week. And tell me, uh, how are you doing in the platform? Have you finished up to unit four? Yes, I finished the platform, uh, the five module. Mm -hmm. I, I, como se dice, yo llegué, teacher. I got to. I got to the final uh, because when I uh, touch next, nothing appears, doesn't appear. Ah, uh, when did you get to the final part? Yes. When? When you need to read uh, something about the uh, no, no, corporal. No. When, what day? What day did you finish? Ah, uh, today. Ah, today. that's why. Because in the afternoon. you have to wait 24 hours for the for the certificate. Oh, okay, teacher. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. So, so today... then tomorrow, tomorrow it should be ready for you to uh to go ahead and get your certificate. Oh I'm going to 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 get the the certificate. Mm -hmm. Teacher in I I I feel comfortable to to practice my my speaking because it's very difficult for me when I try to to get a sentence or form a sentence. So you feel uh you feel uncomfortable or you feel comfortable, Mario? Comfortable today because in previously for me it's very difficult to speak. So now I feel more comfortable when I speak with other person. Hey, that's great. That's the idea for to for you to feel confident and try to speak. It's always, always you're going to have mistakes, but the idea is to feel confident to make the mistakes. Yes, uh, for me it's difficult when I try to join a uh, two sentence. So uh, I don't know how to say the word. Uh, Para, para unir las palos, to join the, the, the sentence yeah. article, so I don't know how, what is the, the, the name, but now uh, uh, if I do mistakes, I, I, I feel great because I say I'm learning and it, it's fine. Exactly, that's the main idea. You're learning, it's nothing wrong with learning. Yes. Okay, all right. So how was your weekend? What did you do? I spend my time in my house because I suffered a surgery a few months ago in, on March. So I all every day I am resting because uh, I have an incapacity, but today finished my incapacity so tomorrow i come back to my job so tomorrow is going to be your first day of work yes okay that's great are you so ready in my weekend i was in my bed watching series and just sleeping okay good and the word is medical leave. You had medical leave. Medical leave. Oh, uh -huh. thank you, teacher. Medical leave. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow, well, today was the last day of medical leave. No, today is the last day to the medical leave. Okay. Tomorrow, uh, I, I come back to my job. Okay. Hey, that's great. Do you feel you feel ready? Do you feel that you can walk? No problems? Mm, more or less. 
I, I, I feel comfortable, maybe not to 100%, but mm -hmm. I, I feel comfortable to come back to my job. Okay, all right. That's the important that you feel like, yeah, you can do it. Okay. Yes. Great. Well, guys, um, today we're going to go ahead and continue. Last week, we were looking at conditional uh, and unreal co conditional sentences. So today, we're going to continue. Here we have in our platform 5.3, the topic was the unreal conditional. This is like the if, the ideas with if. Let's review a little bit by watching the video. $150,000, I could buy lots. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program on our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. So we remember unreal is always the same idea. If the verb in the past would or the models would, could, might, or wouldn't, the verb in the present. This is to describe imagination. Things that we think we would do, could do, might do in these types of situations. Teacher, I have this a question. What... Yes. We can use will or not. You cannot use will. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And real conditional is about Unreal conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An unreal conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might, plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring? If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust? Type your answers as well in a discussion box. Okay. First, it's, do you remember, is it clear how to use Unreal Conditional? If in the past tense, would model and the verb in the present. Yes, do we remember? Yes, teacher. Would, could, may, is, ha, I have a, uh, podría. This is would, but not the same, could, or might. And, and might. Or may. Sorry, Carla. And could and might, teacher, or may. Could is possibility. Uh, so, oh, okay. the, uh, 
might um, and may similar, but the difference is that the smaller the word, the smaller the possibility. So oh, okay. the bigger the word, the bigger the possibility to do the activity. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. So if you look in the chat, you will see that in the chat, we have four links. The idea for the partners is to help us review and practice the grammar correctly. This is to help us review unreal conditionals, which are the same as second conditionals. So right now, we're gonna have a few moments with our partners. We have four links and we need to complete them in 15 minutes. First, open the links, make sure that you and your partners can see them, okay? It's okay? Okay. Are ready. All yeah, right, we're we ready. ready? Yeah, we're we ready. ready. Let's do it. Harrison, you okay? Harrison, are you having some problems? All right, Harrison, I'm gonna leave you here. I'm gonna check on the groups and make sure they're okay. This is the second. Let me know. Uh, the first one that I have, uh, there are only questions. Yes. For the first one is, if Alex. Yes, yes. this is. Okay. Yes. I want, uh, yes, yes. This one. yes, this okay. is the first. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. If Alex his own mobile uh, conditional mm. sentence, the uh, the uh, the first question is have sold. Like a tuviera que vender, right? Hubiera vendido. Had uh sold. -huh. Had sold. His own. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he, he will. will. No. He will. Uh -huh. Why will? Uh, for example, if. Uh, how can I explain? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> it's like a possibility. If something would happen. Um, it's um, like a supposition, for example. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's something that is not, it's not, it has not happened, but it would be happen in case that it would uh, happen. <laughs> yes, for example, yes, yes, mm -hmm. I, I understand right now. <laughs> Maybe it's the second try. Train it, okay. If you, if you, um, had the high ticket, high ticket, uh -huh. the red button, you, 
would would cancel the maybe is the last one okay yes but if they if they were were all allowed they Play in the they basketball. able to pay in the school basketball team or they can pay in the school basketball team it could cool play mm -hmm. maria uh, understand can understand could understand the next if her teachers If the teacher had, had make an important mother. sentence. Yes. yes. Jose gets better mark. Good, good get. Good get better mark. If he, if he improves. Oh, improve, improve his drama. Improve maybe at the first. Okay. If, if we is, recycle this can, yes. we, this can, we could reduce, could reduce, refurbish. Podríamos reducir la, uh -huh. Rubbish. We can reduce the rubbish. Okay, turn. Turns. Turn. Um, maybe turn. Because turn. comes yes. is in third person. Yes, you you are right. Yes. Yeah. If you turn, maybe. Yes. If you turn the bill the, the volume down. The music. the music has some goes on, goes on. Then, um, will sound goes on the second and the third. The second, I guess, goes sound. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, yes, I guess. This one hits, maybe. Charts if they maybe the second. I guess the charts if the record record had record. I uh, the first recorded. Mm -hmm. It is studio. Yes, because the third, it's not possible. Maybe. I think the first. The first, mm -hmm. The Your pencils, but no, didn't break. One. Wouldn't break. break. Couldn't break. The pencils couldn't break if you. Pack, go pack, packet, packet, packet. Just go yes. back more careful. Packet, maybe? Yes, the third. If the girls, it's a bit early. For where? No. Gwent. Gwent? If they were going to the bed to bed early, they went young, wouldn't join. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. The second. Yes. 
cool to line like you. Okay. If you okay, if you had the money, if you had the money, no, no because it's in there's in second person. Had it's in the third person. It's had. Okay. Is you no? It's, no, no. It's have because is you have. have. If you has. Oh, have. Because, yes, have. Because okay. has is in third person. Okay. If Ben does has not. The window. Third person. Yes. yes. Third person. The winter. Here is so called in the chicken. Kitchen. Kitchen. <laughs> Kitchen. Yes. It's warm. No estaría. No podría. Uh -huh. Isn't so cold in the kitchen. Wait, well, okay. The needs needs not. We Doesn't need, need it. No necessary. Dictionary. See. Wouldn't need. Wouldn't need. Uh huh. No necessary. If she. Learns the new word. Yes. If the yeah. student keep it, keep it a diary. Keep. Yes. If the student keep it a diary, they would they wouldn't forget their hunger so often. Mm -hmm. Fine. Fine. For me, the, the third. Fine. Yes, the third. Yeah. Sorry. Because it's not the past. Okay. Maybe or no? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A lot of health problems could be. 
if people better our problems could be bringing people go eat no because we are using could previously a lot of a lot of health problems could be present prevented if the people eat eat better eat better be ¿Cuál es el pas what is the past participle of it eaten eaten with with uh, with the n if the n I don't so know. It, we can use it. E E A T E N maybe. Pero como no bueno, we can choose <laughs> it. Ah. Ah. Okay, guys. Welcome back. Um, I hope it helped you a little bit. I see it was a little difficult for some of you. And for some groups, it seems like it was a little bit of confusion still. Remember, the rule is super easy. Is if the verb in the past participle, sorry, the verb in the past. So if I won, if I saw, if I ate, these are the most important parts. The second part is you're always going to use a kind of model like would or could or might. And the verb is going to be in the present. So as an example, if, if I went to another country, I would go to Canada, something like that. So the important is, remember, continue practicing. You have extra links, the opportunity to improve even more. Okay. But were there any questions, anything that, that you will say, no, 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 I didn't understand at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, just to be clear, okay, uh, always that we use, we have if in the sentence, the next uh, verb uh, must be in, should be, I'm sorry, in past, because I got a little confused, uh, because, for example, <laughs> we, we use uh, if, and the next would have, for example, or if I would uh, buy some thing or something like that. And I think uh, in this part, I got confused because uh, for me, that's the, uh, la in that part, we can use the, the, ah, the model. Okay, yes. Uh -huh. So the idea is always when you have the if, exactly, the verb is going to be in the past. And always when you have the models, the idea is going to be that it's going to be the verb in the present because the model gives you the, the possibility like a lot, a little, maybe. And those are the different models like would, could, and should. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? No, the other ones are okay. All right, great. So it's a little confused, teacher. Yes, that's why it's important to practice the grammar and make sure that you practice the exercises. But it's super easy if you think. If, what do we use with if? Verb in past. That's it. If, verb in past. The model we use would, could, might. How Very we... present. That's it. Okay. And why is this the grammar? Why the grammar is important? Uh, because this is for imagination. These are all ideas for imagination. So we're going to practice a little bit of speaking to make it easier to use in context. Please take a look now at the link that's in the chat. Take a look at the link that's in the chat. Do you have it?
I do. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. So let's take a look. Let's take the question, ask me a question, I will give you an example. Choose the, any question from the list. I want to make the first question. Go ahead, Laura. Okay. If you could ask God any one question, what would it be? Question, and now I put into the sentence. If I could ask God any question, I would ask him um, why I was born. What is the reason for me to be in this world and how can I be a better person? Okay. So you see, if the verb in past, would the verb in present? The same for the answer, the same for the question. One more example, and then we practice with our partner. Another person, one more, ask me the question. I will make a question, teacher. All right, go ahead, Solomon. Okay. If, if the whole world were listening, what would you say? If the whole world were listening, I would say that we need to find peace and we need to find a way to have empathy which is very important to understand each other that's it you say i know i would said i would say we need and then the verb in present mm -hmm. so now let's take a few moments with our partners we're for this activity we're gonna have 10 minutes um and you don't have to ask the question in order you can ask whatever question you like for you to your partners and practice are we ready? We're ready, yes. teacher. Okay, let's do it. All right. could be an animal what animal would you be if i could be an animal i could be Ah, uh, Shira. Oh. Uh, always I want to feel the spin like a Shira. Okay. So, okay. So choose a question and choose the person too. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, for Herson? Okay. First of all, wait, 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 baby. 
Harrison, do you listen to us? Harrison, are you there? No, I'm thinking Harrison is not is not curious. Okay. So cho choose another person, David. <laughs> For Mario. Okay. 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 Mario, if if you could be a superhero, which superhero would you be? Día en el verbo. Okay, thanks, Laura. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, that's if we, the difference if we, between both. Um, okay. If uh -huh. you want, we can uh, select another question. Uh, if you could be a plant, what plant would you choose to be? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carla, if you want to answer the first Okay, uh, if you could be a plant, what uh -huh. plant would you choose to be? A rose. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I would like to be a rose. Or a gerbera, I think. I because could the be... there are a lot of colors of gerbera. Yeah. So. Maybe uh, like the Galán de Noche. Huh? Galán de Noche. Hey, I don't know what uh, uh, this uh, a, a little, but tree is big. Uh, yeah, I, I was thinking about that. I, like a plant is like a lettuce or... Ah, or... uh, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, if, okay, entonces, um, I would like to be a, a carrot. Carrot? A carrot plant, I think. Eh, zanahoria, creo que es carrot. Uh, yes, okay. Do you like? Yeah, I would like to be a carrot because I like a lot carrot. Okay. Okay, okay let me ask you a question. Me, um, let me see. Okay, yeah, this is this is this is very funny. If you could be a superhero, which superhero would you be? Superhero. Uh, uh, got number sentences. It's like a ten. I think it's ten. Um. Ah, uh, beer, beer. <laughs> no like hero. hero. No, no hero. No, it's the, the next is is eleven. Superhero. Like a wonder, 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 wonder woman. <laughs> I I can see that that part of the question. So you put the, the another difficult level. <laughs> yes, uh, okay. It might be um, sopa de pollo. <laughs> Sub chicken, I guess. Sub chicken, sí, yes. Sub chicken. Okay. So I will choose a person and also the question. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Uh, Davey, if you could change one thing in the world, what would you what what would it be? Oh God! Ah, I know what kind of plant is this. Ah. Yes, yes. This, this. Okay. Uh, sometimes Hi, this plant is 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 uh, so common in uh -huh. in in the park. I don't know in parks. Yes, yeah. or yeah, I remember. I know how do you I say barranco, teacher? Can you help me, please? Or 
How do you say no. which one? Barranco. Cliff. Cliff. Yep. C L E. Sometimes. I E F. C L I E F. Sorry. C L I F F. Oh, uh, we call it F. Cliff. If as if without T, I think that will be a C L I F F. F T. Sorry, F T. But if F F. F F. Yes. Okay. Uh, Thanks, teacher. Okay. Yes, you can. You can. Uh, you can uh, find this plant in in a cliff. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's okay. Let's ask a different question. I have. I have one. Uh, for example, if you could live anywhere, where would you live? Uh huh. Where would you like? Uh, I don't know, but uh, I can repeat it again. Yes, please. If, if you could live anywhere, where would you live? Si pudieras vivir en cualquier lugar, donde vivirías? Okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. To be Carla? honest, uh -huh. oh, okay, Carla, you start, Carla, no problem. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe in the ocean. Where? In the ocean. In the ocean. <laughs> really? Uh -huh. Really? Yeah. So, okay, I see question. Ask sure, me question, sure. Okay. Okay, sure, okay, Anna. Okay, let me ask you. Well, let me ask you. Uh, if you could be another person for a day, who would you be? I. I would like to be a. Okay, guys, how do you feel? Do you feel better, more confident to use, to use it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Let's check then. Let's try together the exercise to see if, if you learned and can apply the second conditional. Byron, Byron is going to be number one. Jose Omar is number 1B. Byron, 1A. Laura, 2A. And we have Sullivan 2B. Then we have um, number 3A, Carla, and 3B, Anna, Suyapa, 4A, and David, 4B. Okay, let's try it together. Don't worry. If you have a mistake, we help each other. Okay. okay, I start, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, the first, if, if you have three months to travel, where do you go? And for me, the correct way, if you have three months, where would you go? The, for me, it's the first one. If you had three months to travel, where would you go? Okay. Thank you, Byron. Okay. Okay. Three, one B. A B is my turn. Uh, for me, in that a question is, oh, that's easy. I will fly to Antarctica. I've always wanted to go there. Okay. Number two A. Uh, let me read. If your doctor told you get more exercise, uh, which is horrible. Okay, the first one. Read it, Laura. If your doctor, if your doctor told you to get more exercise, which is poor would you choose? Okay. Good. To be. It's me. Okay, the, um, the answer 
Um, I am, I am, well, I'm not sure, but I might, I might go jogging two or three times a week. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 3A. What would you do if your car broke down? Okay. 3B. Me, teacher. Okay. If I don't effort to fix it, I will have to walk everywhere. Okay. For a uh, me teacher, mm -hmm. could you break into your house if you look yourself out? Uh, the second. Okay, pronunciation locked. Okay. No, no, okay. Pronounce locked. Uh huh. There you okay. go. Good. Okay. Practice always pronunciation. And the last one for B. Me teacher. Okay. Uh, the, the first one. If I didn't have another key, I could ask a neighbor for help. Okay. Pretty good. Most of them are correct. Only here I'm going to help you out so we understand. So, number one, A and B, excellent job. Very good. The same for 2A and 2B. Again, correct answers. Number 3A is correct. But number three, B, no. Remember, if is going to be the verb in the past tense, not the verb in the present tense. So it's going to be if in the past tense, and then in the second part is going to be the model and the verb in the present. That's going to be the one. Number four, A and B was correct. Any questions? No teacher. No question, teacher. Yes. It's clear, teacher. It's clear. All right. Great. So that is the idea that we have for those. Now, what are we going to learn? Okay. We're going to learn to describe events. Describe events. So in order to describe, we need to have vocabulary. Today, we're going to improve our vocabulary by learning antonyms. Remember what our antonyms is the opposite, like black, white. This is the opposite. So let's try it. To know about antonyms and synonyms help you increase your vocabulary, take a look at the following antonyms and find its opposite. Listen carefully and repeat. Accept, admit, agree, borrow, deny, disagree, dislike, divorce, enjoy, find, forget, lend, lose, marry, refuse, remember, save, spend. Now that you have listened to that pronunciation, make a chart on your notebook and complete it. Stay to see what we want you to do next. Okay. So before we make the chart, let's take a look at the vocabulary. Are there any words that you don't know or are not sure about? Lend. Lend. Yes. When, when you go to the bank, when you go to Banco Agricola, okay. You, uh huh. Eh, Banco Agricola gives you money. Banco Agricola lends you money. Okay. Okay. Bo borrow, teacher. Sorry. Borrow is you. When you go to the bank, you borrow money. 
Banco Agrícola lends you money. Okay, teacher, thanks. You're welcome. Anybody else, any other words? No teacher. Okay. So let's join them together. For example, accept, refuse. What can we have? What are the other ones? What are some of the other ones? Admit. Negate, I don't know how to say. <laughs> Repeat. Agree. Agree. Mm -hmm. Disagree. Mm -hmm. Correct. Agree. Disagree. Mm -hmm. Admit. Deny. 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 Good. Borrow. Lend. Lend. Wonderful. Dislike. Like. Like. I don't see like. Enjoy. Enjoy. Ah. Uh -huh. ah, you're inventing words. I'm not looking at the chart. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. I like it. I like it. All right. What about divorce? Mary. Mary. Okay. Good. Find. Lose. Lose. Wonderful. Forget. Remember. 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 Save. Spend. Spend. Exactly. Spend. Great job. Any questions? No, teacher. Mm -hmm. Teacher. All right. Then let's take a look and see what we have. Ooh, we are getting there. Getting there. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, please repeat. Alguien escuchó lo que dijo? No. Okay. No. I'm thinking okay. he I... had trouble with her internet. Right uh huh. Now. Exactly. Okay. Okay. I was trying to understand, but I I couldn't understand anything. No. Me too. I couldn't. Okay. All right. So, Carl... yes. Escribilo in the chat. Write it in the chat. As if that way we we understand what you want to say. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, write into the chat, no problem. Carla, please read, what is the objective? By the end of this class, participants will be introduced to past models in order for them to talk about action in past. Ah, so we're going to be introduced to past models a little bit different because we just we're going to be using past actions to talk about actions in the past but let's see um let me check if there are any questions in the chat no okay in order to understand this today we're only going to watch the video to help us a little bit then tomorrow we're going to have the opportunity to practice but right now let's watch the video and try to get an understanding and comprehension from the context are you ready to give opinions and suggestions about actions in the past? Join us and learn how to do it. Past modals. Use would have or should have plus past participle to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past. What should I have done? You should have told them about it. You shouldn't have hidden it. What would you have done? I would have called him. I wouldn't have sent him an email. When and how do we use past models? We use past models to give opinions and suggestions about actions that already happened. To give opinions, we use would have plus past participle. And to give suggestions, we use should have plus past participle. But in both cases, our opinion or suggestion is too late. 
Remember for statements, we must use subject plus would have or should have plus past participle plus the rest of the sentence. For questions, we add WH question word plus would or should plus subject plus have plus past participle and the question mark. Let's read these situations. It is your task to come up with suggestions. Remember you may use would or wouldn't have or should or shouldn't have. Type your answers in our discussion box. Okay, so the most important is a little bit about what we learned today, um, what we practiced today and this. We learned the models. We learned the models like would, could, might, may. Also, we know there are models like should. How do we make any model in the past? It's super easy. It's the same form, but in order to use the model in the past, we need to use the verb have, okay? This is going to be the difference. Instead of saying, I would go, we're going to say, I would have, and the verb in the past participle. I would have gone. Instead of saying, I should save money, you're going to think about the past last year is I should have saved money. This is how we can use models in the past. Always with the same model, but we use the auxiliary have. Mm -hmm. It's okay? Yes. Yes, sure. Yes? It's clear. Okay, great. So we're not going to practice this just yet, but we are going to practice this part, okay? Um, the last part was just making sure that it's clear about ourselves. So today is Monday, right? We're thinking about Monday. What did you do yesterday and Saturday? What would you do differently if you could do, if you could change what you did? So first, what did you do? And then let's talk about what you would change. As an example, yesterday, I, uh, I stayed home. I, if I could change, I would have gone to the beach. This is how we used the perfect models. It's okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Let's start off. What did you do yesterday or Saturday? Uh, for example, on Saturday, I went to the movies and um, I would save, save money. Good, I would have saved money. I would have saved money. Okay, good. Okay, so kind of the idea, I went to the movies. If you could change, if you could be different, is I would have saved money and not gone to the movies. Can I try it? You can try, go ahead. Okay, uh, yesterday I went to visit my friend, but I will have, I will have visited my mom. Or I would like to visit my mom? No, no, no. I I would have visited my mom. Okay. Don't worry. We're only to get the idea. Tomorrow we're going to practice it correctly, the grammar. But good idea, good idea. Mm -hmm. One more, one more. T-shirt. Yes, Yapa. 
Yesterday I stay home at 7 p.m. because it um, was rain. Mm -hmm. I could visit my grandmother. Okay, I could have oh, Okay, I could have. Correct. Okay. So this is the idea that could have, would have, might have. All of them mm -hmm. are to imagine the difference in the past. Okay. This is the idea. Don't worry, we're going to pause. The objective for today was to learn the second conditional. Tomorrow, we're going to practice this other grammar, this past model, okay? Now, the past model, the name is third conditional, but little by little, we're going to practice it tomorrow with the past models, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, guys. Have a great night. Thank you so much for connecting. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.